So you might be surprised at the treasures you can create when you start rethinking, reusing, and recycling everyday items. Tracy Viveretta is an illustrator, recycling crafter, and blogger who's here to show us how to make what she calls upcycled jewelry charms. Tracy, nice to have you here. Thank you. What does the term me. upcycled mean? I know what recycled is. Yeah, upcycle, I just see it as upgrade. So oh, there you go. Yeah, you just take a regular item and you just sort of up upgrade it. Something you may not want to throw away, like a t-shirt, you can upgrade it into a tote bag or uh, something of that kind, like what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. And when did you start getting interested in up, upgrading here? Upsiding, up, <laughs> upcycling, recycling, up sustainability. <laughs> um, forever. Um, yeah. It's been at least a decade. Um, but apparently when I think back on it, I've kind of been doing this since I was a child. It's a little but hobby I, for you, yeah, right? Yeah, we just didn't call it recycling then. <laughs> That's true. And you have some wonderful jewelry on now. Is that all upcycled? Um, you, no, it's, really? it's handmade. Most yeah. of it's handmade, but it's not upcycled. Very pretty. Yeah, all right, so we're talking clothespins today. Kind of we a fun are. activity for yes. the kids. Mm -hmm. How do we get going here? Um, actually, this would be a great project to do for people of all ages, um, tweens, teenagers, adults. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a part, you're going to deconstruct a simple clothespin. All, all right. right? Yeah. So you can try and do it with me and <laughs> be very careful. So you're just going to pull that apart. And the piece that you want is the center piece. This hinge right here is the gem. Okay. But, but being a recycler, you're going to um, put these to good I'm use too. I'm going to put these you? to good use too. <laughs> I may not know at the time what I'm going to use it for, but we're definitely going to use, uh, we want to use everything. Okay. That's the point of recycling. Got All it. right. So we're going to use this little piece here and we're going to take gently pull it apart. All right, open All right. it a little. Yes, and one for, I have one already done here for for myself. So, we're going to gently pull it apart. You want to make it a, just a bit wider. Okay. And then after that, you're going to gently <laughs> Ooh, And be very careful with these hinges because you know, you can snap. They might snap back and sort of, you know, Get snap you, your huh? finger. Yeah. And there you go. Where do the beads come from? Are these also yeah, upcycled? Yeah. Um, no. Some of them are um, handmade, but oh, uh, cool. I've had them for quite a while, so, uh, yeah, I've been doing this for quite a while. So you're going to just pull it apart, put one side in the hole of your bead, mm -hmm. and then put the other side into the next, the other side of your bead. All right. Right, and what you get is this little gem right here. Cool. All right. Yes. Mine's a little crooked, but I get the gist of it. Yeah, it's very simple, and, but you can get very creative with it because you can put this one here, I put three beads on. Oh, fancy. So you can, yeah, <laughs> you can get a little fancy with it, but you're definitely going to stay within the realm of the width of this, um, of the hinge, yeah, of the clothespin hinge. You're going to have to fix this one because I can't yeah. reopen it, but it's pretty. I get the gist. Yeah, and yeah. Here's a necklace you have. How do, yep. you, how do you do it? And then it? you simply put this through your, uh, the center, the round piece ah. of the, exactly, of the round piece of. How did you come up with this? Of the. It's very creative, actually. <laughs> I'm always arts thinking, and crafts. Oh, I know. It's 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 out of control, actually. Uh, and there you go. And that's how it's going to look. Now, is that cute? Yeah. And it's a conversation piece. Like I've worn them, and people always ask, you know, where I got that, and they're always shocked to find out it's a clothespin. It's a fun idea. Now, talk to me about these bags. Yeah, yeah. What's going on here? Uh, some more yeah. upcycling? Um, yeah. Recycling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Everything in my product line. Oh, this is a new product line mm -hmm. that I'm uh, coming out with at the end of this month. On the very last day of July, I'm coming out with a dog a, a line of dog goods called Crafty Dogsmith under that Crafty moniker. Crafty Dogsmith. I right, like that. Crafty Dogsmith. And I've got tote bags, and they're all, I just want to say that they're all handmade. These they're are adorable. Not, and they're who not doesn't want to adopt a dog, adopt right? A you dog. can't go wrong with that. I know, right? And um, yes, and the reason I put these um, uh, lettering, I went with this lettering because part of the proceeds of the entire dog line is going to go to um, dog That's shelters. Really great Local idea. dog shelters. So we've got, in this line, I've got uh, tote bags, I've got storage bags. Um, these you could store all of your dog's goodies. Good dog good bones, idea. dog treats. Tracy, um, talk to me about your blog. Um, my blog I've been doing for a few years now, um, since about 2008. I'm under the name Tracyville, mm -hmm. so your uh, viewers can look for me under Tracyville. And it's just me showing people how to make things. Well, that's you know. fun. Yeah, you yeah. videos on there, step by step? Um, no, not yet. I'm thinking about getting on YouTube. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting on YouTube. Yeah, I'm thinking about YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, and you do classes <laughs> also, right? Uh, right now, yes. I just started uh, since I've been good. back to You're the area. At me, like, what are you even <laughs> trying to do here? Yeah. Here, I'd make one more. Yeah, I do workshops for mm -hmm. to show people how to upcycle, how to recycle, and just really how to live a sustainable life. I like the sound of that. And, uh, yeah, all right, yeah. uh, one more time where we could find you, your website? Tracyville, tracyville.blogspot.com. Very good. Yes. All right.